Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. Um, today we're working on this little 66 Mustang. It's got a 9 inch Ford in it. Um, we wanted to do the pinion seal and the bearing support uh, o-ring. We did that earlier. It seems how we took all this apart. Uh, we want to reset the pinion preload. You don't want to, if you ever have to take off this nut and take off this yoke, um, you don't want to reuse the crush washer or the nut. The crush washer is more important. If you have to reuse the nut, you may be okay. I'm not sure, but I don't like to take any chances. So I'm going to get a new nut. I'm going to get a new crush. Crush sleeve in here. And we're going to set the the preload on these bearings just right. If you reuse this stuff, it's uh, kind of hard to get the correct preload on this. So, so we're going to take this yoke off. We're going to get a new uh, crush washer in there. And we're going to show you how to properly set the preload on this pinion bearing setup. So we got our nut off, we got our yoke off. This is your pinion bearing support. Here's the old crush sleeve. This, this will, as you tighten, it'll put the right amount of pressure on these bearings and you have to tighten as you go and check the preload if there is a specification on new bearings you're going to be around 25 inch pounds on used bearings which what we have what we have here are used bearings we're going to be about 15 inch pounds so that's the target so we have our new we have our uh, pinion support, uh, pinion bearing support with a new seal. Bearings are all in there. We have a new O-ring in here. Now we have a new crush sleeve. It's gonna slide on there. Yoke is going to go on, and now I have a new nut to go on. Okay, you got to be careful not to over tighten this. Once you over tighten it, you're done. You can't undo the crush. Just going to get this by hand to get it started. As you can see, there's noticeable play. We're going to tighten this down until we have no play, zero play. I have to reposition this on the vise. Okay. Okay. So as you can see. Still a good amount of play. 
we're going to tighten until we have zero lash, zero play. This will require some effort. Say it takes about 180 to 200 foot pounds of torque to begin crushing that sleeve. So it's gonna it's gonna take some effort here. Okay, now we are at zero play. The amount of drag I feel on this actually feels pretty good. So what we're gonna do is check our preload on this using a dial torque wrench, inch pound torque wrench. And a nice uh, inch pound dial torque wrench. One and one sixteenth socket. That thing barely even moves. So we got some tightening to do. Still a ways off, that's only three inch pounds. It's okay to keep checking this. It's better to check it over and over again versus over tightening it. Okay, 
That is right there. Perfect. It's a little tight, but not too tight. So now, now you can install this back in and feel rest assured that everything's going to be fine. Uh, we got a new seal. We got a new uh, pinion seal, crush sleeve, pinion nut. Cleaned it all up nice, and now we can reinstall this pinion back into the differential. And we should be good to go.